Naruto just glared at the great beast trapped in a cage. Naruto I don't know who should I be mad or you or the person who put you inside me Kurama for his part, just growl at the worm in front of him Naruto just ignored him and looked around at the sower that was his inner mind Naruto. Might need to go to therapy to fix this shit. Naruto said absent-mindedly to himself as he foot reached the wet floor causing ripples in the water, as Naruto finally put his attention back to the big fox in the room Naruto now Kyubi, why have you call me inside my own mind? Naruto said in a calm voice looking straight at Kurama, who was surprised that he saw no fear in his eyes, just slight boredom Kurama so the brat finally learned some manners, and do who do I have to thank for that Naruto nobody, since you're never getting out of here. Kurama you sound like your mother. Naruto flinched and looked at Kurama taken off guard. Naruto you, you knew my mother. My mother was the previous Jinjiriki. Kurama my what a smart jailer, but yes she was both of you are a pain to deal with Naruto what, can you tell me about her, please. Naruto hated how he sounded so desperate and weak, but to be honest, he was desperate to know anything about his parents, he might not know who his father is, but he does at least know who his mother was, and he wanted to know more about her Kurama just ignored him, and rested his head on one of his paw, Kurama tell me first, why are you using my chakra? Kurama asked Naruto was confused as he approached the cage Naruto I don't know what you mean I was thinking the same thing, why have you been giving me chakra are you trying to influence me again? Both saw a red chakra line leaking out of the seal, Kurama scoffed Kurama so you don't know either what a waste of my time. Naruto must be the seal you saw it just like me it was leaking out, your chakra Kurama beautiful the seal it's weakening beyond control, and er is releasing my chakra faster, then you can control might as well just ripped it out, so I can be free, no point delaying the inevitable Naruto said nothing, and got closer to the seal he examined it for good, well Kurama what don't tell me you're gonna actually try to fix a seal made by the Shinigami you're dumber than I thought, but be my guest I would love to see you fail, Naruto ignored him a bit harder than last time, and concentrated on the seal following on the complicated design, searching for a specific kanji. Storage it took a bit of time, but Naruto found it and saw the problem the kanji was red, as if it got corrupted over time, Naruto closed his eyes as Kurama looked curious at Naruto soon Naruto opened his eyes as one eyes was the same of the Kyuubi's eye, and the other was in sage mode, Naruto definitely need to visit Ma and Pa later, if I can only still use only half of sage mode Naruto muttered to himself before getting back to work doing 20 different hand signs as he redrew over the old kanji, and soon the storage kanji started to glow, as the red was combined with a blue merging together making a dark violet, the process took around 15 minutes, before the red chakra stopped leaking, Naruto's eyes went back to normal, as he breathed a little heavily Kurama you, fixed it. Naruto now who's being an idiot. Naruto had a smug smile as Kurama growled. Naruto and to answer your question no, I didn't you were right, I can't fix a seal so complex, yet I'm nowhere near the level the fourth must have been to put such a seal on me, but I was able to patch the corrupt seal to stop the leaking at least for now it will give me more time to study and get better for next time, Kurama that's impressive for a mortal meatbag at least guess your self teaching. Are working after all but of course you wouldn't need to be self taught if you had actual good teachers oh how much of your potential must have been wasted, Kurama just laughed at Naruto, who just glared at the huge fox Naruto I have demands for you fox, and you will listen to me, I may not have the Uzumaki chains, but I do have wood style that can make your stay in me a lot less pleasant. Kurama stopped laughing and glared angrily at Naruto who smirked Naruto better now I want you to stop any more of your influence and I will be using the bare minimum of your chakra for my genjutsu and to heal myself, but nothing more that damn toad son in might have made me addicted to your chakra, but I'm putting a stop do it, I don't care what you have to say what I say go the amount. Of power I asked is what you will give me unless I say otherwise Kurama looked amused at Naruto. Kurama and tell me brat why do you want my power do what ends will you use it for? Naruto simple I will use it to protect the few people that are dear to me, nothing more nothing less if I'm to get stronger, I can't rely on you what if for some reason you're ripped out of me, I would lose a large part of my power level, and I can't have that if I'm to become stronger, it will be because of my own strengths, not because of you Kurama at least you have some big stones down there. Let's see if you can back up your strong words now leave I'm tired Naruto hell no tell me about my mother. Kurama ignored him and pushed him out of his brain, Naruto opened his eyes to the real world scowling in a bad mood, thanks to the fox Naruto that bastard. Few days after last chapter. Naruto woke up from his sleep by an Anbu. Anbu the Hokage has called you to meet her at her office. Naruto did she say why? Anbu that is not my place to tell. The Anbu left Naruto's side and got dressed wearing an Anbu style outfit, putting his sword in his saya he looked himself in the mirror. Naruto. Dot the mask is a bit much. 
Naruto puts the mask away and jumped out his window he started running to the Hokage tower he entered the office through the window and frowned at who was their team 7 and 10, along with Kiba, who still had a black eye from when Naruto humiliated in less than 3 minutes, everyone looked surprised at what Naruto was wearing, but Naruto puts his attention at Tsunade. Naruto Bachan why did you call me I was having the best dream of my life. Tsunade rolled her eyes and looked at Naruto. Tsunade well I'm sorry to interrupt your boat asleep we both know how much you needed hell you need a beauty coma, but I have a mission for you. Diba tsk we don't need this dead last. Diba muttered to himself Naruto glanced at him making him flinch. Naruto you want to repeat that. Before Kiba could say anything Tsunade decided to speak. Tsunade enough right now the mission at hand is more important. Naruto fine so what's the mission? Tsunade the fire daimyo is hosting a ball, but he is worried for the safety of his daughter, since there has been multiple assassination attempts over the last month, the mission is for one of you to stay close to the daimyo daughter, while the rest will be scouting the area. Naruto just nods. Tsunade good I will let you all decide who will be near the girl you may all leave. They all left to the hallway Kakashi turned around and gave his trademark one eye smile to the rest of the group. Kakashi alright everyone let's meet at the south gate in 30 minutes. They all nodded, but Naruto who glared at Kakashi. Naruto Hadake I will wait the 30 minutes, but if you're late I'm going on ahead. Naruto disappeared in a bolt of lightning taking the rest and especially Kakashi by surprise. With Naruto. Naruto appeared at the south gate having already everything he needed for a mission in one of his seals, at the 15 minutes mark team 10, appeared they tried to talk to Naruto, but he maintained a cold expression with his arm crossed with his eyes closed, ignoring at the 25 minutes mark team 7 without Kakashi, appeared they talked amongst themselves with Sai standing next to Naruto, both quiet but. Sai with his same smile at the 30 minutes Kiba showed up with the arrogance of being there just on time, after that Naruto started walking. Sakura Naruto Baka Kakashi isn't here yet. Naruto I told Skankashi I would wait 30 minutes no longer if you fools want to wait another hour and a half be my guest, this is a mission, if I'm the only one who's gonna take it serious, then so be it. Naruto kept walking but stopped as Shikamaru used his shadow imitation technique. Shikamaru how troublesome Naruto just wait for Kakashi. Naruto just transformed into smoke being a shadow clones taking them by surprise. You know how long did he actually wait? So I am using. After another 45 minutes Kakashi finally arrived he looked around. Kakashi where is Naruto? Doji he went on ahead said that he wasn't gonna wait for you. Doji said while eating a bag of chips, Kakashi rubbed the back of his head, chuckling nervously, as they all ran to try to catch up to Naruto. Hours later night time with Naruto. Naruto finally stopped he's been running all the way there he took a few breath to calm his body and looked at the daimyo's palace. Naruto hopefully it looks better in the daytime than in the nighttime. Naruto said to himself as he walked to the entrance. Guard halt. State your name and the purpose of your visit. Naruto I am Naruto a shinobi of Konoha the daimyo called upon me and my team to see him. Guard and your team? Naruto still a day away from getting here I came earlier than them. Guard very well follow me I'll take you to the daimyo. Naruto thank you. They walked inside Naruto followed until he see the daimyo. Daimyo only one shinobi. I requested a whole team. Naruto kneeled in front of him. Naruto rest assured Daimyo that my team will be here in one day's time I refuse to wait for one of my teammates, since he has a habit of being one to two hours late, and that would just be disrespecting you my lord. Daimyo what is your name? Naruto I'm just a simple shinobi sir just call me Naruto. Daimyo fine Naruto since I don't want to repeat myself you may go and rest until the rest of your teammates arrive. Naruto thank you lord Daimyo. Naruto got up and walked away on his way to the guest rooms he bumped into someone. Naruto my apologies I was not looking. Naruto grabbed her hand and lifted her before leaving, before the girl could say anything he made it to his room and collapsed on the bed, his tiredness finally catching up to him as he went to sleep. But the girl. Vegeta what a strange boy. Servant Lady Uzumaki finally found you. Vegeta yes what's the problem? Servant you know your father doesn't want you to leave your room this late at night, especially with the many assassinations you've received now come along. Vegeta fine fine. Vegeta left with the maid neither one knowing they had family so close to the other. One day later early morning. The rest of the group finally could see the daimyo palace they had all been arguing the whole way there, except for Kakashi and Asuma, about who was gonna be the one close to the daimyo daughter or the unofficial princess off the fire country they are meet by the wife of the daimyo. Akira Uzumaki who was not pleased to see the shinobi her husband requested to be bickering Akira hopefully my sister was not like that when she was alive. But things only got worse since Kiba decided to speak. Kiba wow, who's the MILF? Akira glared at the boy who feel a powerful killer instinct, Sakura punched Kiba in the head Sakura Yubaka that's the daimyo's wife. 
the cure and I'm half tempted to make you all leave and make only Naruto protect my daughter, since he appears to be the only one out of the nine of you who's taking this seriously, they all bowed with Kakashi in front. Kakashi please forgive us ma'am I assure you we will protect your daughter, you have my word Akira TSK, it's not up to me anyway, now get up my husband is waiting for you all, she started walking with the Konoha ninjas following. Asuma if you don't mind me asking, but aren't you a bit young to be the daimyo wife? Last time I saw Tsuchi. Akira Tsuchi died over a year ago there's a new daimyo Aka my husband we're here they entered and were surprised to see Naruto there sipping tea with the daimyo, not only that the new daimyo was extremely young. Bakashi stepped forwards as the leader of this mission. Bakashi sorry we're late walking here took longer than expected everyone heard glass breaking they looked and it was Naruto who broke the cup with one hand bleeding, but he didn't react Naruto walked, dot did you just say walk. We have a mission request from the daimyo himself the man who pays 90% of Kanoha's funds and you're telling me that you didn't rush here. That level of incompetent I would expect from Team 7, but Team 10 especially you Asuma dot dot Jiji, must be feeling so proud of his son right now Naruto glared at Asuma, who had the decency to look another way Naruto stood up and made a clone Naruto I'm gonna go to my room, I have an emergency kit to heal my arm and remove the shards of glass that are stuck in the palm of my hand Daimyo please tell. Thus the mission my clone will hear on my behave since I don't trust my teammates to relate something do simple to me, Naruto walked out, they all looked at the daimyo who looked displeased Naruto's words spoke truth and were inside the daimyo's head daimyo your mission is to be essentially security all around the ball, I'm having celebrating the anniversary of my marriage, am I clear shinobi hi. I'm yo and a warning for all if my daughter dies Kanoha can forget any more funding and support from me, everyone got a little scared and started to take this mission more seriously, especially Asuma who took Naruto's insult to hard daimyo the celebration will take place tonight, for now you may all leave, I've arranged some rooms for you ninjas my guards will escort you there they all bowed and left to their rooms. With Naruto. We see him walking to his room only to bump into someone Naruto my apologies. Vegeta you again. Are you one of the assassins are gonna bump into me until I fall to my death? Naruto chuckled and gave her his hand Hajita took it and got up. Naruto sure let's go to a mountaintop so I can bump you off the cliff, both gave a small laugh. Naruto you must be the prince's pleasure to meet you I'm one of the shinobi sent here to protect you, please call me Naruto Hajita nice to meet you Naruto please call me Hajita anyone who can share my form of messed up humor must be a great friend and since we're friends can I ask a favor? Naruto shoot. Hajim you see and looking for a partner for the ball, so can you be my partner tonight? Cause I really don't want to deal with some arrogant hotshot who think just because he was invited he's Kami's gift to the world Naruto what makes you think I'm not like that? Hajim cause even if you are I can just tell my father then Kanoha can't say bye bye to the person who basically pays the bills, Hajim smirked as Naruto laughed. Naruto threatening I like it I do like it fine fine I'll be your partner for tonight, Hajim great pick me up from my room when the sun sets my family loves the night, so they only have parties at night time Naruto thats. Hajim really weird. I know see you later Naruto. Both waved goodbye and went their separate ways. Later. The Kanoha group was discussing information of what to do and who will do what Kiba being arrogant as ever Kiba he well, I know what I'm doing I'm dancing with the princess to make sure she's nice and protected Shikamaru Yuhu and how will you convince her to stay by your side. Kiba froze and thought about it for a minute, looking a bit sad Kiba I don't know. Everyone sighed. Bakashi were already at a disadvantage not being able to stay near her Naruto that won't be a problem. Everyone looked at Naruto surprised he actually talked, he's just been leaning against a wall in the corner Sakura what do you mean it won't be a problem Baka. Naruto Hajimaka the princess had already asked me to be her partner for the ball I'll be on her side all night Asuma how, did you manage that? Naruto after you guys pissed me off I went to my room I bumped into her wr got to talking and she asked me simple as that Kakashi gave Naruto his trademark one eye smile. Kakashi that's great Naruto. Naruto great for me horrible for you and Asuma you all had a day of walking and didn't come up with a plan of how to get close to the princess. Both Asuma and Kakashi felt ashamed. Naruto has Konoha become so arrogant that it can't even think of a plan ahead of time. Naruto got up and left to get ready. We see Naruto dressed up in a black kimono that would allow him to blend in, but he won't be without weapons as he has gotten the kimono altered so that it would be more flexible and allow him to hide his weapon holder. Naruto looked at the sun setting down, still had 30 minutes before he had to pick up the princess, so he sat sad and started to meditate for a bit. Naruto any reason you're looking at me through the window Hadake. Bakashi jumped inside rubbing his head embarrassed. Bakashi sorry didn't want to interrupt. Naruto no you only wish to spy on comrade shinobi of your village the reason I have no idea, but I hope it's good. Bakashi sat down in front of Naruto, as for Naruto he didn't open his eyes to acknowledge his former sensei. 
Naruto are gonna speak or just stare at me since you must have a reason and I have nothing to say to you. Kakashi since when do you talk like a wise monk? Naruto you would be surprised what you can learn by books alone, Shizune forced me at first to read scrolls and books about meditation and Buddhism, but over time I kept reading by myself studying the, the religion and its teachings that gave me a much better understanding of my emotions and my vocabulary. Kakashi how well when Sasuke sees you. Naruto it will be the last thing he will see I assure you. Kakashi frowned crossing his arms. Kakashi you're not trying to bring him back anymore. Naruto if I can I will, but I will no longer risk my life and the life of my teammates to bring back the traitor alive, if I must I will end him and end what Itachi was too weak to do. Kakashi Naruto Sasuke is. Naruto no longer a ninja of Kahona no longer a civilian of Konoha, he betrayed the leaf his friendships and his own personal sensei for the pursuit of revenge. Kakashi I was not. Naruto yes you were the Achiha personal trainer, since all you really taught Sakura and me was the tree climbing exercise everything else Sakura learned from Tsunade, and I learned from my studies and the Rasengan from the Toad Sanin. Kakashi Master Jiraiya. Naruto must have taught me more. Yes how to use the Kyuubi's chakra instead of my own, how to rely on an outside force that may not always be with me giving me a big handicap if the Kyuubi were to ever be extracted by me, so no the only thing I still use that the Toad Sanin taught me was the Rasengan everything else I discarded and before you ask no, I can't read your mind like Inuyur. Just so predictable that I know what you will say. Bakashi alright then what will I say next? Naruto if I hate and or am jealous of Sasuke. If that's the reason I'm acting out or having a tantrum as you told Tsunade. Bakashi flinched as Naruto slightly frowned. Naruto oh yes she told me that Hadake you care so little about me that you took me giving up on the team as a tantrum and then you ask yourself why I don't wish to return you sigh and look at me when I walk by with a look of disappointment as if I'm expected to stay in a place where I'm stagnant with you, I would never grow and learn new things better things now that I'm stronger without. Your help mind you now you want me back, but you don't want me back because I'm stronger again, it has to do with your personal student Sasuke, you only want me back because when the traitor comes back and we both know he will eventually be it by force or by his own free will you want him back in your team you want him to be feel like nothing changed since he left, so to answer your original question I suppose you could say I'm jealous I mean Sasuke has a bigger fan girl in you than he has in Sakura. Naruto smirked. Naruto so no I don't hate Sasuke I'm indifferent towards him, he's nothing more than a traitor to the leaf, and when I find him I will do what is necessary for the village, what is do hate if you Hadake I hate that you didn't teach me and Sakura properly I hate that you spend all your time exclusively on Sasuke I hate that you taught him everything, including that knockoff for Senganyu. All Ichidori well me and Sakura were left to fend for Ursulf in the Chunin exam, and even after he betrayed the village, you still refused to teach me and Sakura anything only thinking on Sasuke hell and not even Sasuke in a way you're no better than Donzo, since all you care about is what's inside Sasuke had the oh so precious shuriken, if you want if I kill Sasuke, I can take his eyes and give them to you as a gift, but you know in the end. Naruto made a bottle of Tsunade's special sake to appear and poured two cups. Naruto it doesn't matter you let your personal affairs whatever they may be affected your teachings you should have went with Sasuke at least, then I would respect you for making a choice and stick with your personal student, but you didn't so. Naruto lifted his cup finally opening his eyes looking straight at Kakashi's eyes. Naruto to the man who lost everything now you can add your students oh I'm sorry student to the list. Naruto drank it in one gulp before walking away to get the princess. Naruto made it to Hajita's room and knocked on the door she opened Naruto saw her wearing an elegant blur kimono. Hajita hey Naruto what do you think? Naruto your kimono looks amazing Hajita you ready to go. Hajita yeah let's go but be sure to keep does hands where I can see them. Naruto understood you have nothing to worry about. Hajita took Naruto's hand as Naruto guided her for a bit until he stopped. Hajita what's wrong? Naruto I just remember, I have no idea where this party has taken place. Hajita laughed and she guided him to the party hall when Hajita saw her father she ran towards him dragging Naruto with her. Vegeta hello father do you like my new dress? Brand you look beautiful honey ah Naruto I see you're my daughter partner for the evening. Naruto yes sir rest assured that I will protect her with my life. Brand good now both of you go and enjoy the party. Both teens nodded and left to enjoy the party. One hour later. One hour in and Naruto hasn't seen any suspicious activities, although much to his annoyance, he saw Kiba not taking his job seriously and just stayed at the buffet, eating away Sakura was talking to some high nobles about who knows what in Sai was being Sai at least Team 10 was taking it seriously, Naruto has seen them glancing at the princess to make sure she was safe, and Kakashi stood close to the daimyo to make sure he was safe, Naruto was interrupted by his thoughts when Hajita pulled him to the dance floor. Hajita come on bodyguard dance with me a little. 
Naruto fine but be warned I'm a horrible dance. Vegeta no problem so am I. Both chuckled and danced and rest assured they were terrible but were having fun. While the music was playing Naruto and Hajita slowed down and started dancing moving side to side Naruto holding her from her waist and Hajita by his neck, although for Naruto his mind was somewhere else all he could think about was one thing. Naruto would Shizune look in a kimono, how would she look at a fancy party, how would we dance together? His mind was consumed by this kinds of thought until the image of Shizune smiling came into his mind. Naruto smiled softly thinking of her he couldn't dance around the issue any longer. Naruto there's really no denying is there dot dot I fell in love with Shizune. When the dance finished Hajita and Naruto let go of each other. Vegeta Naruto mind if we go to the garden and walk around for a bit, I kinda want some fresh air. Naruto sure let's go I could use some fresh air. Both of them walked away to the garden not knowing that someone was following them. At the garden. Naruto and Hajita walked around the large rose garden, enjoying the silence of the night they sat on a beach on the end of a koi pond, looking at the fishes swim. Vegeta I had fun tonight Naruto thank you for that. Naruto it was my pleasure I had fun too. Naruto got up and stretched a little. Vegeta what are you doing? Naruto you can come out now I know you're there. Naruto caught a kunai that was sent to Hajita. Ninja you're good kid to be able to sense me. A ninja came out of the shadows. Naruto not really saw you following us all through the party and you're supposed to be a shinobi. A ninja frowned. Ninja if you knew why didn't you tell your teammates. Pretty arrogant to think you could take all of us. A group of shinobi appeared surrounding them Hajita was getting worried, but Naruto didn't seem impressed. Naruto what's your name? The Orway my name is Yorki Akadomi and my group have been sent to kill the Daimyo child, so move aside cause you can't take us all on your own. Naruto funny who said I'm on my own? Before Yorway could question on of his. Teammates disappeared into the shadows all they heard was the hissing of a snake Sai appeared next to Naruto. Sai hello Dickla so nice we get to fight together again. Another ninja tried to throw a kunai spear at Hajita, she closed her eyes covering her face, but no pain ever came, she looked and saw Kakashi holding the kunai in one hand and his Ichi Ichi novel in the other. Kakashi my Naruto quite the mess you got yourself into can't say I'm surprised. Naruto and I can't say I missed you reading that Ichi Ichi garbage all the time, and yet here we are. More rogue shinobis came as the rest of Team 10 appeared to protect Hajita. Naruto were missing too where are they? Asuma Kiba is still eating, and Sakura is busy talking to some rich guy. Naruto glanced at Kakashi. Naruto another fault of yours if you trained her to act like an actual shinobi she would be here right now. Kakashi Naruto now is not the time or place for that. Naruto you're right when I tell you of your constant failures, I rather it be just the two of us so I can enjoy your defeat since you know I'm right. Asuma Choji take the princess out of here while we take care of this. Choji R. Right. Yorwa you're not going anywhere everyone attack. Shinobis jumped from where they were hitting as the Kanoha team got into attack position. Naruto well this should be fun. Author here only gonna concentrate on Naruto's fight. The Oroi water style great waterfall flow jutsu. The water from the fountain flowed towards the ninjas they all jumped out of the way except for Naruto as Naruto started making hand signs. Naruto wind style violent whirlwind. Naruto shouted as he released a strong whirl current that split the water in half, dodging him Naruto looked at his attacker unimpressed. Naruto you really thought that would do anything. God and I thought Sakura was pathetic. The Orwe glared at Naruto and gave some annoyed chuckled. The Orwe so this might be a small obstacles no matter. The Orwe said as his hands glowed a dark blue Naruto cracked his neck as he surrounded his entire arms in wind chakra and as lightning chakra flowed through his leg, surprising Kakashi for a minute enough for one of the rogue ninja to slice his arm, Kakashi winced a bit before jumping to gain some distance as he jumped Naruto through a kunai at the rogue's feet, trapping him there letting Kakashi. That is distance as Naruto dodge Yoroi's attacks. Naruto I can't be in two places at the same time Skankashi so concentrate in your fight. Naruto kicked Yoroi in blinding speed, yo fast for him to dodge, and he took the full force on his rib, sending him a good few feet back Naruto didn't give him time to recover as he ran towards him the lightning in his legs making Naruto look like a blur, when he appeared he punched Yoroi right under his face, sending him flying while in the air, Yoroi caught his balance and made appear a giant. Shuriken and launched at Naruto dodged easily, but he saw Yoroi smirking he wasn't aiming at Naruto, making his eyes go wide, he disappeared in a blur and appeared in front of a distracted Choji, the shuriken impaled Naruto landing roughly on his shoulder, making Naruto grunt loudly. Be no Naruto. Naruto my god am I working with Genins. Choji s. Sorry Naruto I promise I wasn't. Naruto now is not. The time. Naruto took the shuriken out of his shoulder and threw it Sai caught it just in time and re-threw it at another round ninja with even more force cutting him in half. 
As for Naruto's shoulder a red bubbling chakra appeared in his shoulder burning Naruto making him wince, but it patched him up as Naruto went back to the action taking his Nadashi out from his Saya. Naruto I'm finishing this. Demon strike. Naruto shouted as he launched a glowing blade of red chakra energy Yoroi barely dodged the attack, when he did he saw Naruto close his eye and rub the now scared shoulder, Yoroi took it to his advantage, took two kunais out as he ran towards Naruto, swinging his kunais at Naruto, who dodged shocking Yoroi as Naruto one of his eye had orange surrounding it. Naruto tsk still only have I really need to visit ma and pa if I want the full sage mode. Yoroi wait sage mode. Yoroi couldn't finish that sentence as Naruto swung his blade back up when Yoroi noticed what he was doing, it was too late for him to dodge, as Naruto slashed cutting one of Yoroi's arm off he turned around his Nadachi and slashed up cutting Yoroi's other arm, before Yoroi could scream Naruto slashed sideways, cutting his head off all in just 5 seconds. Bandit Jesus fuck this I'm out of here. The bandit tried to leave, but Shikamaru kept him in place Ino transferred her mind in the bandit and stabbed him in the heart and went back to her body as the bandit fell on the ground. As for Sai he reclined against a tree his eyes closed with the same smile as he drew a pack of wolves who ate the bandit coming for him slowly but surely all the rogue ninjas and bandits were killed. Naruto Kami the garden looks like a massacre but at least you're safe Ajita. Naruto turned around just in time to see a bandit on top of them Choji didn't see him. Naruto damn it Choji. Naruto did hand signs that would put Kakashi to shame then he said something that shook every shinobi to their cores. Naruto would release wood prison. The tree behind Choji grew and changed shape around the rogue ninja creating a cube the ninja threw a kunai as the cube was closing a close, just in time holding the hilt of the kunai that was now inches from Hajita's eye, she walked backwards before running behind Naruto. Naruto relax princess it's over. Akashi na dot dot Naruto since when. But Naruto ignored him and went marching to Choji grabbing him by his collar, putting harshly against the wood. Choji n dot Naruto what the? Naruto shut up I had to save your worthless fat ass twice. The princess was in danger and you didn't use yourself as a shield she was top priority she is more important than all of us combined and you let her be in danger twice. Bakashi pulled Naruto back. Bakashi that's enough Naruto now is not the time to yell about what went wrong and what could have happened. I disagree I agree with Naruto's assessment on his teammate. They looked and there was there was their daimyo ran. Naruto Lord Daimyo you will be pleased to know all enemies are now dead and the remaining one I will keep alive to find the rat's nest so we can finish this and your daughter can be saved. Ren thank you Naruto. Naruto just doing my job sir I'll start the interrogation right now excuse me. Ren before you go could you please tell me your full name? Naruto yes my lord my full name is Naruto Uzumaki son of Kashina Uzumaki. Naruto disappeared in a flash leaving a shocked Ren and Hajita. Ren my sister-in-law had a son. Ren muttered to himself soft enough so no one could hear him. Bakashi sorry Daimyo did you say something? Ren oh dot dot nothing you should worry about please excuse me and my daughter we must talk to my wife. Bakashi very well the rest of us will go to Naruto to find the rat's nest. When Kakashi and the rest made it to Naruto's location they heard screaming they ran and saw Naruto torturing the ninja he let live. Naruto ah so you've arrived Ino hurry up and get inside this rogue ninja's brain so we can see who hired him. You know what? Ino was taken aback since again Naruto was using wood release Naruto rolled his eyes and looked at Ino with Kurama's eyes. Naruto did I stutter or are you as useless as does three genin over there? Naruto pointed to Kina Sakura and Choji Kina growled and grabbed Naruto by his collar. Kiba who the fuck are you calling a genin? Naruto. He lifted his hand grabbing Kiba's wrist before adding pressure not enough to break it, but just enough so he feels a lot of pain Kiba tried to free himself, but Naruto was like an unmovable object Hakamaru jumped out of Kiba whining scared as Naruto bloodlust was slowly increasing, making it harder and harder to breath in the cave. Naruto the same Genin who was stuffing his face instead of protecting the princess or the same Genin that had his guard down and I had to bail him out twice in the fight or how about the Genin who always screaming Sasuke but was flirting with some rich noble you three are fucking genin in my eyes, you didn't take this A-level mission seriously, let me remind you that if that princess dies, Kanoha will lose over 90% of its financial power, and who do you think that disgrace of the civilian council will blame, will it be Sakura? Ha no her mother is the leader of the civilian council how about Choji or you? Nah both of you are clan head heirs and will be fine how about Kakashi? Nope I don't see them punishing one of the strongest shinobis we have, so who will they blame dot dot oh that's right. The demon. Naruto growled out even Kakashi was having trouble breathing with the amount of bloodlust in the cave. Naruto I would be blamed for the mistake and straight up incompetence of you three I would be the one who would receive the harshest of punishment since I'm the demon I let the princess die. Naruto said imitating the voice of Sakura's mother. 
Naruto now be a good little mutt and shut your mouth before I rip it out of your face. Naruto threw Kiba to the wall, making him pass out Naruto stopped with a bloodlust and looked at Ino with bored eyes who flinched scared. Naruto and why are you just standing there hurry up and go inside the ninja's brain. Ino R. right. Ino walked up to the ninja. Ino I. It will take a few minutes until I can find it. Naruto don't need your excuses Ino just do it. Ino nodded feeling sad that Naruto was so cold to them but understood why so she just sighed and did her brain jutsu. Bakashi well dot dot while she's busy finding who's responsible Naruto when and how did you learn you had blood release and why didn't you tell any of us. Naruto when I started training I sneezed and a tree pop out of my floorboard, second I did show my wood release, when these Genin decided it would be a smart idea to break into my house and blow up the door to my room, why they didn't question how my door magically grew back is not my problem, the how one of my ancestors must have had wood release, and it was passed down to me simple as that the. Why? Why the hell would I tell any of you anything about my personal life? We are not friends we are no even good comrades all you guys are to me our fellow shinobi of Kanoha, I'll lay my life for you guys in a mission, but outside of them. I couldn't care less if any of you live or die, so do me a favor Skankashi stop pretending we still have some kind of bond that you can ask me anything personal your student is Sasuke not me nor Sakura, you are that traitor sensei not mine. Naruto said coldly walking to a boulder nearby and sitting on it while they waited Sai sat next to him and started drawing, since he kept quiet Naruto, didn't care even found slight entertainment watching Sai paint, they both heard rock being destroyed, they both glanced and saw Sakura, who slammed her fist to the wall. Sakura why are you being like this? Naruto I got tired of giving you guys chances to prove you're my friends pure and simple. Naruto left no room for doubt his tone portrayed as facts. Sakura fine you hate us is that it? So I guess ugly he does I'm not good at reading emotions, and even I could see that. Sakura shut up Sai. Naruto why should he? He just told you the truth not our fault if continue to live in denial. Sakura. Arg well why do you call Kakashi that name have you no respect for him? Naruto I respect his a strong shinobi I respect that he's probably gonna be the next Hokage when Bach An inevitably gets tired of the position and doesn't have to keep protecting me from your mother and her counsel, but as a sensei. Not I don't as a human being. Even less oh boo who my teammates died, so that justify I only spend my time with a student that reminds me of myself. Bakashi frowned under his mask. Naruto Sakura do everyone a favor and wake up Kakashi is not our sensei, he's Sasuke sensei, the only thing he trained us was on the tree climbing exercise hell, he didn't even train you and that you learned it basically at your first try after that he spent all his time training Sasuke Tsunade, is your sensei, not him wake up and realize that. He know okay I'm back I know who wants the princess killed, what's with everyone did I miss something? Asuma killed the rogue shinobi. Asuma no dot dot nothing that can't wait until after the mission Naruto is right at least on that we have to take this seriously come on tell us on the way to the daemon. That song up there playing through this whole chapter. The ninjas of Kanoha made it in front of the daemon and his family all kneeled down except Kiba until Naruto forced him down glaring at him his eyes saying, show some respect. Naruto my daemon you'll be pleased to know we've found who's the one that want your daughter dead. Rena wonderful who is it? They got up and Naruto found it strange that the daemon's wife eyes were red and he makeup was running. Naruto ma'am are you alright? Akira flinched a maid gave Akira a handkerchief Akira took it and cleaned her eyes. Akira you dot dot yes yes I'm sorry I'm a bit emotional please continue. Ren yes Naruto what did you find? Ino looked offended but Asuma stopped her from speaking. Naruto me personally nothing it was Ino Yamanaka who found out the culprit if you want to know I suggest asking her. The Kanoha ninja we're taken aback. Ino na dot dot Naruto. Naruto say that I may not like you, but I'm not about to take credit for something I didn't do, that is not the my ninja way now speak, don't keep our daemon waiting. Ino r dot right. Lord daemon the guilty culprit was your second in command Satsuya Keno. Ren I see and why did he want my daughter dead? He know it was a political move he wanted to keep you in grief and manipulate that anger on a small village to attack it unfairly. Ren quite troubling. Naruto my lord if I may just ask you Keno here the second he comes I'll end his life. Ren that won't be necessary Naruto my guards will take care of him as for you all I give you my thanks to most of you. The shinobis glanced at Kiba and Sakura who both just stood there awkwardly. Naruto if that is all my lord we should start leaving it's a long walk home. Ren if you don't mind can me and my family come? There's certain things we have to talk to your Hokage and do that counsel. The Kanoha were taken aback by the laced venom of the daemon's words except Naruto who shared his anger. Naruto of course my lord whenever you're ready we'll go and keep you protected. Ren me and my family are ready now. Naruto say no more team let's go keep a circle around the daemon's family. They nodded although Kiba was muttering. 
Diba who put him in charge. Naruto I put myself in charge since I'm the only one taking the mission seriously now shut up and go to the back if Akamaru or you must smell something tell the group. Diba growled, but Naruto growled louder and had his bloodlust to back him up making Kiba jump back. Naruto that's what I thought you get and now go .to .the back. Diba runs to the back and they started their journey back home after a bit Akira decided to speak. Akira na dot dot Naruto. Naruto looked at Akira. Naruto yes ma'am. Akira can, you tell me how was your life at the village where you treated well. Naruto as good as you treat a cockroach that sneaks into your room. Ren can you elaborate. Naruto the villagers don't know the difference between a scroll and a kunai they treated me as if I was the demon inside me instead of the jailer I am. Kakashi Naruto you shouldn't bother to Damon's family with that. Naruto glanced at Kakashi with bored eyes. Naruto last time I checked they asked and I'm answering second don't talk as if you're talking for the Damon's best interest, he's the one person more powerful than the Hokage, if the Anbu had to choose between the Hokage or the Damon, they'll choose the Damon so shut your mouth. Brand my sentiments exactly I want to know Naruto's past the good the bad and the ugly. Naruto then get ready cause it's a long way to Konoha and it gets very ugly, let's see I was a orphan at birth, my mother Kashina Uzumaki died at childbirth, I don't know who my father is, since I didn't have any family at least none that Jiji the third Hokage could find he had to put me in an orphanage that didn't last long when they figured out I was the jailer of the nine-tailed Jinjiriki they picked me out at the age of four can you imagine? To be so cold-hearted to throw an infant on the street for something he had no controller say in. Akira how horrible. Naruto just chuckled bitterly. Naruto. That's just the tip of the iceberg for two years I was on the streets eating from the garbage or whatever I could find, in the forest of death when I wasn't looking for food, I would get beaten by the same villagers, I now protect not just beaten I was just tortured on a daily basis, I would get punched burned poisoned waterboarding insulted denied fresh food. Being used for dogs hunting practice you name it they did it the silver lining I guess would be they never raped me, guess they didn't want to get a demon baby inside them. Vegeta. That's a fucked up way of thinking of a silver lining. Naruto with my childhood you take what you can get. Ren how can you call that man Jiji when he left you to the wolves? Naruto hard for him to know when even the Anbu that were supposed to keep an eye out for me joined in on the tortured, he only found out by pure luck of walking while it was happening, had does who were present died, the second Hirazin saw it was me he killed every single one of them even summoned his monkeys, and they ate the villagers that dared to run away from their death after that he gave. Me a small apartment made sure it was always stocked with at least enough food to last a month, an allowance from the Saratobi clan, not saying Jiji was perfect, but he at least gave a shit about me hell, he was the only one in my childhood that didn't look at me as a demon, for that I'll always have a soft spot for him, he will always be my Jiji. Naruto stopped talking and gave a little prey to Hiruzen before he continued. Naruto. After that nothing really happened the harassment still continued and my house was always broken into, but they knew better than to touch me if they laid even a finger Jiji would kill them, so they settled with just ruining my apartment, but that's just material things does I can always fix when I became a shinobi I though my luck was finally gonna change, but I was but in a team with a howling banshee that all she does is complain and scream Sasuke and Sakura I hear one word from you back there you will fill this hand so shut it. Sakura just kept her mouth shut for once realizing that she was in no position to complain. Naruto the next teammates was a arrogant piece of shit that always boasted he was stronger, and I'll admit in the beginning he was, but that's just it in the beginning after a while I started training, and I started leaving him behind power wise his ego couldn't accept that and tried to kill me twice for it, but I promise you there won't be a third time. Naruto said holding his sword tightly. Naruto and last but not least my sensei the oh so great Kakashi Hadake on your left all he trained me in was how to use chakra on my feet to climb trees, that's it he didn't even train me how to walk on water, another Jimin taught me that he spend the rest of his time training Sasuke a lot of good that did he ended up betraying the leaf for power, after that I went on a three year journey with. The toad son in Jurei I'll save you the trouble of asking yes it was the same as Kakashi only taught me a few things, the only thing I still use that he taught me was my Rasengan everything else I discarded as he only made me addicted to the Kyuubi's chakra, something I'm still dealing so yeah in the short of it, that's my story. The Damon's family were left speechless the adults were furious that that's how Kashina's child was treated Akira wanted blood and she wanted it now. Ren I see, but you are strong that there's no doubt what changed. Naruto I started training and teaching myself in basically one year I learned more than in years with a sensei, I am a self-taught shinobi. After that Naruto walked on ahead it was getting dark and he decided to scout the area before they called it a day one thing was for sure the daemon was now out for blood. Naruto and the rest made it to the gates of Konoha, Naruto looked around and frowned seeing the gatekeepers Kotetsu and Izumo sleeping on the job as always. Naruto does anyone take their job seriously anymore in Konoha? 
Naruto said to himself the rest looked where Naruto was looking and saw them Kakashi and Asuma grew nervous as their daimyo did not look pleased at all. Naruto wanting to give them a lesson touched his seal on his arm and a special kunai appeared Kakashi seeing this tried to stop him, but Ren stopped him. Kakashi my lord. Ren I want to see this consider it their punishment for sleeping on the job. Kakashi sighed but stepped back Naruto hearing he had the daimyo's blessing he threw the kunai landing between the two Naruto grabbed the daimyo and his family before doing hand signs. Naruto wind style Zephyr shield. An invisible shield barrier appeared around them before the rest could hide it was too late, the paper bomb exploded, only instead of a fire explosion, everyone who wasn't protected got covered from head to toe in neon yellow paint, waking the sleeping duo woke up in a jump with kunais in hand. Izumo who's there show yourself. The Tetsu looking up and he felt his heart drop to his stomach. The Tetsu I dot I dot Izumo. The Tetsu said in fear Izumo looked impaled seeing their new daimyo he did not look pleased. Brand gentlemen you are both the gatekeepers if Kanoha you are their first line of defense, how can you defend it if you're sleeping on the job? Ren was smiling, but for the two sleepy ninjas, it was like looking at the face of a Hanya demon, or as Katetsu would call it Izumo's wife, both ninjas grovel under Ren's feet. Both please daimyo we beg for forgiveness. Ren was not in a forgiving kind of mood until he heard something he glanced at the noise and saw his daughter and Naruto were laughing his daughter was talking to her cousin about how funny that prank was it softened his heart, seeing the next generation of Uzumaki getting along with each other, he at the trembling shinobi at his feet. Ren. I let you go both with a warning, but if I ever caught one of you sleeping again. The Zumo it won't you have our word. The Tetsu thank you so much my lord your kindness is without equal. The Daimyo ignored them as he kept walking the rest from after him. The Kashi alright everyone get cleaned up while I go with the daimyo to give the report to the Hokage. Ren no. The shinobis looked at their daimyo. Ren I wish for Naruto to keep me company as my wife and daughter checks into a hotel we plan to stay here for a few days. The Kashi but my lord I must insist. No one saw it coming it was a blink and you'll miss it moment in an instant Naruto disappeared and reapered in front of Kakashi, his fist directly on Kakashi's gut. The Kashi caught off guard and taking the winds out of his lungs. Sakura Naruto what the? Sakura froze when Naruto glared at her. Naruto if I want the opinion of a crying banshee I promise you'll be the first I go to, but god now shut your mouth. Naruto's tone and gaze were filled with poison as he glanced at Kakashi. Naruto and you the daimyo's word is law you do not question him if he said jump, you ask how high now leave and get cleaned up before I beat you a second time, because I swear the more I'm close to you, the more my anger grows. Naruto looked at the daimyo and his family and bowed. Naruto I would be honored to escort you and your family around Kanoha, please let us get your family to a hotel, then the both of us can go to the Hokage together. Ren that is acceptable please lead the way. Naruto nods and they left with the now neon yellow shinobi who were looking dumbfounded by what happened. Joji Kami Naruto has changed a lot. You know not completely well I'm furious he used that paint bomb on us ruining this outfit you have to admit that was completely old Naruto he's still in there. Shikamaru what a pain yes he's in there, but he didn't come out because of us. The mood just got a bit gloomy for our shinobis. But the Uzumaki family. Akira so Naruto if you don't mind me asking are you currently seeing someone? Naruto yes dot dot her name is Shizune Kato she's the person I love with my all my heart. Akira what do you love about her? Naruto looked at her questionly but shirked. Naruto I, I love her smile I love how she helped me when no one would I love how she's always been there for me since I've started this journey one year ago, I love her laugh the way her nose crunches up when she laughs the way she looks at not like a demon like the villagers all around us. Vegeta looked around and sure enough the villagers were looking at Naruto with hateful scorn in their eyes. Naruto she doesn't look at me like I'm just a fellow shinobi she, she looks at me, and I mean really looks at me, she makes me feel like her equal. Akira how lovely you seemed absolutely smitten with this person imagine to fall in love with the person who's always been there for you. Naruto. Actually she's only been there for me for about a year. Akira oh dot dot well childhood friends. Naruto ha no I'm 16 and she's 29. Akira froze luckily it was in front of the hotel Ren just coughed. Ren now righty then Hajita please check you and your mother in while she processes this Naruto please follow me to the Hokage tower she and me have some business to attend to. Naruto that's fine my lord I have to report the mission anyway and have a clans meeting right after. Reno clans meeting. Whatever for. Naruto the shinobi clans of Konoha have possessions of my clan and I will get them back even if they don't want to. Ren. Really? Well this should be very interesting to watch. Naruto and Ren walked away Ren with amused smile, Naruto glanced at him confused but ignored it. 
Once they made it inside the Hokage Tower everyone inside civilians and shinobus alike stopped and looked at their daimyo Naruto and Ren paid it no mind, though Ren could hear the harsh whispers the civilians were spitting out of this nephew. Ren. Does it not bother you? Naruto. I've been dealing with this my whole life I'm used to it, it's easier to ignore it than to fight, especially when the civilian council is the one responsible for my pain, there's nothing I can do about well there used to be. Ren what changed? Naruto smirked. Naruto becoming a clan head has many advantages, one being the civilian council has less control as I leave, and giving I'm the last to Zamaki and Konoha, not to mention their Jinjiriki, if they don't change their ways and pronto they will find out firsthand how much my training has improved. Reno believe me they will change I can promise you that. Naruto knocked on the door as soon as he heard Sanade's voice he entered, and instantly his mood turned foul as Jiraiya was again there. Jiraiya Agaki ready to go with the toads. Naruto. I've made my stance clear that I'll be going alone and show some respect with the daimyo. Ren no no, don't let me interrupt you I get the feeling this will be entertaining. Jiraiya. Thank you daimyo see Gaki even the daimyo doesn't have a stick so up his ass like you and Tsu. Jiraiya eyes widen as he felt something he touched his cheek and felt blood it took a few seconds for his brain to register what just happened faster than he could see Naruto grabbed a kunai and threw it at him. Naruto that was a warning toad son in insult the Hokage again I dare you. Naruto said glaring at Jiraiya, for his part Jiraiya could swear Naruto looked like Minato when he would glare at him. Naruto. I've made it clear repeatedly I will go with the toads on my own, this is my journey not yours I'm not your student, so stay the hell away from my life, I want nothing to do with you. Jiraiya sorry kid, but you don't have a choice you can't go without me, and you can't train without me the chief toads rule. Naruto. You mean bribed him some way into locking me without a Kyakuyu, but fine you want to play this games let's play just remember you only have yourself to blame. Naruto snapped his fingers, and a scrolled appeared Naruto looked at it for a few seconds with soft eyes, before his eyes turned cold and hard, he made hand signs with one hand, and made a small fireball in it to burn the scroll. Naruto there. Hurray what was that? Naruto my toad contract I burned it there for I no longer have the toads as my summons. Hurray what do you realize what you've done? Naruto gave him an angry. Naruto I left the toads a summon that meant much to me, but if they would block the use of one because of someone who's been with them for longer, then I don't want them, and I didn't do anything it was you who forced my hand Jiraiya you pushed, and I reacted now you have no business here leave. Jiraiya Naru. Tsunade you heard my grandson he said leave. Naruto wait before that I want him present for this, so he knows that what he did was the final nail in the coffin. Both saw in were confused as Naruto walked up to Tsunade and bowed to her. Naruto Bachan, I ask permission to sign the slug summon. The three adults were in shock Tsunade felt touched that the first thing Naruto did was ask her, Jiraiya felt betrayed that Naruto left the toads for the slug so fast, and Ren was amused. Ren I was right this is entertaining. Tsunade nod dot dot Naruto you sure you want my slugs? You could explore the world for any other summoning. Naruto true, but I wish for the slugs for various tactical reasons, not to mention they can heal me mixed with the Kyubi's chakra, I would be unlikable in certain situations, but my main reason is to strengthen our bond Bachan, you're one of the few people that mean deeply to me, and when I'm old and grey, and you long since passed I'll have the slugs to remember you. Tsunade jumped her desk and hugged Naruto, Naruto smiled softly and hugged back he could hear her sniffle, this has meant more than Naruto thought it would, and more than Tsunade can describe into words, but all things must end. Jiraiya hold on a second Naruto you aren't thinking straight. Naruto sighed, and to his disappointment he had to let go of Tsunade and turn to Jiraiya, his eyes showed no emotions he was just done. Naruto I am, I'm choosing my path I'm choosing my decisions, and I'm choosing who walks with me on that journey you do not now. Naruto did his signature shadow clones two came out each grabbed one arm. Naruto you have used enough of the Hokage's precious time leave, unless you have intel on the Akatsuki as the Achiha traitor. Naruto didn't really care if he did he would still kick him out, and Tsunade closed the door on him. Ren that certainly was something, but it would appear that I've been sitting here waiting for long enough yes. Tsunade our apologies Naruto will sign the contract later. Naruto of course botch and beside I have to give you the mission report, and the daimyo would like to have a word after that we have to go to the council meeting. Tsunade sighed as she sat down on her chair. Tsunade I need a drink. Naruto touched one of his tattoo seals, and a bottle of Tsunade's favorite drink came up with three glasses. Naruto I believe we all could use a drink before we discuss such important topics. Tsunade pretty sure you need to be 18 to drink. Naruto shinobi law botch and old enough to kill old enough to drink. Tsunade chuckled and grabbed a bottle and started serving the other two, took their glass, and drank a few moments of calm before the storm hits. 
After the drink they didn't say anything enjoying the silence as long as possible, but Ren decided to speak Ren. I'm confused on something maybe you can help me out on it Hokage Tsunade yes daimyo. Ren. Please Naruto obviously sees you as family call me Ren. Both Naruto and Tsunade saw this as odd but ignored. Tsunade alright Ren. What's got you so confused? Ren well it will make sense to you after this question tell me my full name Tsunade your full name my lord is Ren Yuzu. Tsunade froze as she looked in between Ren and Naruto, instantly knowing what was happening Ren ah, so you figured it out good to know the Hokage is intelligent, so yes, my full name is Ren Uzumaki, husband of Akira Uzumaki, sister of Kashina Uzumaki Naruto flinched and looked at the daimyo Naruto's eyes wide as dinner plates and I want to know why my wife was lied to and told that. Kashina's whole family was killed in the Kyuubi's attack, and yet my nephew still lives and breaths at my very eyes, Ren said coldly his once warm face became cold and serious Tsunade sighed Tsunade. One drink wasn't enough I. Don't have an answer for you since all this happened before I was Okage, but what I've read in the report Naruto's father wanted to keep him a secret he thought Naruto would be safer if people didn't know he was related to anyone and would be treated like a hero for holding the nine tails inside him Naruto. I would say wishful thinking, but that's just stupid if he thought that so since I know the Daimyo family are you gonna tell me who's my father? Tsunade. Dot the fourth Hokage Minato is your father before you ask no, I can't give you anything that belongs to him, we would need to hold another council meeting for that that made both of them groan. Naruto. Bureaucracy sucks ass. Ren it has its moments. Naruto so, you're my uncle. Ren indeed I am your auntie can't wait to see you she has so much to tell you including embarrassing stories of your mother when they were kids, Naruto chuckled feeling warm to have more family, then just Tsunade ran a questions that's been on my mind Naruto, if I gave you a room in the daimyo's mansion, would you leave Konoha? Tsunade did a spit take while Naruto closed his eyes and thought of it for a minute Naruto sorry uncle, but no I have friends here that mean too much to leave like Neji and recently Tenten, also my girlfriend Shizune speaking of her where is she? Tsunade. She's going to the heads of clan heads to tell them about the meeting gotta say Naruto you're a lot calmer than I thought you would be Naruto. Don't get me wrong I'm overwhelmed with the information I've learned to keep a cool head but still my old man was the fourth Hokage huh? Ran and Sanade stayed quiet they could only imagine what was going inside his head Naruto screw him. They did not expect that and Sanade busted a gut laughing. Sanade you have your mother's tongue Naruto that's for sure. Naruto just saying my opinion he gave me this burden he sacrificed himself for nothing since Hiruzen could have made the Shinigami deal since he did with Orochimaru in the Chunin exams, he blocked my inheritance so yeah fuck him you can keep his stuff, I'm only interested on my mother's and my clan's possession since I'm a Uzumaki, not an Amikaze Naruto said, as matter of fact Tsunade. But only wonder how Minato must be feeling right now that his son wants nothing to do with him Tsunade you rip what you sow Minato, you got a lot to say to Naruto when you reunite on the other side but dot dot would he even care. Ren, that's, is something I have to admit I would probably forgive him since he still would be my father Naruto a parent is supposed to protect his child, he has giving me nothing but pain, so why should I forgive him cause I have his blood in my veins. Tsunade. Can't say I would do the same either, but I'll respect your decision Naruto now where is Kakashi he was supposed to give his report Naruto you know him always late, I'll give it I have plenty to say and got the daimyo who can confirm my words as fact. The beginning of the journey Kakashi was late again over 40 to an hour late, I refused to wait so I left the second we agreed upon going, I made it a day before my own team when they made it, I heard Kiba was disrespectful towards the daimyo's wife my auntie Ren. True called her a milf. Tsunade continue. Naruto after that they refused to take it seriously Kakashi spied on me, but that's more personal than anything at the party I was tasked with taking care of my cousin, and I did once the guilty party came out we fought, and by god it was like fighting with Genin on my team, Choji allowed the princess to be in danger multiple times, Sakura was off busy kissing face with some rich guy that reminded her of her Sasuke. And Kiba was busy stuffing his face Tsunade I'm disappointed in my student, but alright does 3 will be on D rank missions for 6 months, as punishment Naruto after that Ino found out who wanted my cousin killed and why, and that was it Tsunade I can't wait to read Kakashi's report to see if he lies would give me the perfect excuse to the council to not choose. Them as the next Hokage Shizune speaking of the council. Naruto smiled as he and the rest turned around and saw Shizune at the door when she saw Naruto, she gave him a smile back Shizune they're waiting for you. Tsunade. Let's get this over with. Ren. I'll join you having a daimyo on your side will end this quickly Naruto thank you uncle, but please don't reveal our relationship until necessary, this will be my first clan's meeting, I want to see how I hold on my own, as Konoha's Uzumaki's clan head, Ren nodded, and they left for the meeting. The three of them made it on the door to the council room Naruto took a deep breath. Naruto alright. 
let's do this. Tsunade opened the door and instantly her mood changed. Tsunade Mabuki Haruno can I ask what's the civilian doing here this is a clan's meeting. Mabuki oh please don't mind us we just heard the new daimyo is here and we wanted to make a good first expression. Naruto and I repeat the Hokage if you want to make a good expression, why are you here? Naruto had a small smirk as Tsunade had a bigger one, Mabuki frowned and glared at Naruto who ignored her and looked at the shinobi council and saw what he was looking for a chair with his family symbol he walked up and sat down, he was next to the Hyuga clan head Naruto glanced at him and then back to Tsunade who sat in her chair in the middle of it all with Ren behind her. Mabuki what do you think you are doing demon? Naruto. Dot dot. Mabuki I ask you a question. Naruto funny since when does the civilian council dictate what a shinobi clan much more a clan head does? I have no reason to talk to you. Mabuki you a clan head what bullshit is this? Tsunade the bullshit that is an order from the Hokage got a problem tell it to my bud, it's the only thing that gives a crap now shut your mouth before I kick you and the rest of your council out of this meeting, don't tempt me, I'm not here as in Mabuki I will not tolerate any disrespect. Tsunade said coldly making Mabuki stop talking and just look at her as a seasoned politician, she was a master of the neutral face, but this meeting will test her resolve. Tsunade now we can get started we all know why we're here Naruto Uzumaki you have been recognized as a clan and a clan had anything you would like to say. Naruto stood up. Naruto first and foremost I would like to thank you Hokage-sama for recognizing me as the last Uzumaki of Konoha. Naruto looked at Shizune and winked at her. Naruto for now. Shizune blushed and coughed trying to regain her composure as Naruto chuckled. Naruto but not only you Hokage I would also like to extend my gratitude to the Hyuga clan for being the only one who cooperated in my demands, as for the rest of you, you know what I want I demand my clan's possession back. Naruto said giving everyone their cold glare. Things were quiet for a few seconds but the first to complain was the Inuzuka clan head Tsum Inuzuka she did not look happy. Tsum this is ridiculous you're only one the Uzumaki items are useful for my whole clan and I know I'm not the only one who uses it. Naruto but they do not belong do you don't blame me because you were too busy chasing your tail or barking at a mailman to make your own jutsus. Tsum show some respect you brat. Naruto funny I'm not the one yelling. Respect is earned not asked for and I'm a clan head and equal to you all, rather you like it or not honestly I don't care, but I will get my clan's possession back jutsus books weapons, the Uzumaki estate. The Uzumaki bank account everything that is rightfully mine by birthright, be thankful I'm doing it diplomatically, and I don't show you why your son went home by Akamaru dragging him by his shirt. Tsum that was you. Mzai Akamichi. Mr. Uzumaki you harmed a clan heir that's a serious offense. Naruto he entered my residence without permission broke into my house, exploded my bedroom's door and almost destroyed a precious Uzumaki belonging, if you come for me with the air harming law, imagine what I can do to the lot of you with all the illegal shit your children did, since Kiba wasn't alone with him was Sakura Haruno daughter of Mibuki Haruno. Shino Aburam son of clan head Shibi Aburam, Choji Akamichi son of clan head Shmza Akamichi, Shikamaru Nara son of clan head Shikaku Nara, Ino Yamanaka daughter of clan head Inoichi Yamanaka, and Rock Lee civilian, so if I wanted I could sue a good chunk of the Shinobi clan, I could sue the Mabuki clan personally because of Sakura and the civilian clan because of Lee, so I'll ask. Naruto activated Kurama's eyes and glared angrily at them. Naruto do you really want to mess with me? Because if you do you know what they say if you're gonna hit the king you better kill the king so you better not miss. Shikaku what a pain clan head Uzumaki if we don't charge you with the air endangerment act, will you let this transgression go? Naruto hum, that is acceptable now on to the main matter at hand my clan's belonging is there anyone else who has a complaint? No. Fantastic think of this as a good thing for Konoha each clan that took from mine will now have to make their own which means more jutsus for Konoha. Donzo. I've had enough of this foolishness. Naruto closed his eyes and sighed smirking. Naruto yes Lord Donzo and what would your complaint be? Naruto under the table released his blade the seal was activated and that little secret Donzo keeps in his arm and I is now as good as useless, but Donzo didn't need to know that. Naruto I'm sure we can come to an dot dot understanding. Naruto said with a closed eyes smirk. Donzo firstly you cannot be a clan head you. Naruto handsome devil. Thank you for the kind words, but you're a little too old for me. That earned a few chuckled and a spit take from Tsunade. Naruto is for the first reason the Uzumaki were once a proud and feared clan until they were wiped out funny, weren't they a sister village and your generation didn't do jack shit to help them. Maybe you were scared that they would become too powerful like you did with the Achiha. Donzo choose your words carefully. Naruto or what? Donzo you lovable old man did you think I called Hiraz in my Jiji without having a deep bond? Do you think he didn't tell me things? Things only he and the oldest in this council room knew. 
Anzo activated the Sharingan in his eye, using the Kotamatsukami ability to control the mind of everyone in the room, not knowing it didn't do anything. Anzo. You're the village Jinjuriki you're the weapon of the village not a clan head. Naruto really now. Alright then let's put it to a vote oh wait it can't be a vote since only the Hokage can decide and if you disagree I guess you can ask the daimyo himself, well what do you say Hokage am I am official clan head. Tsunade. Absolutely. Anzo. Disgraceful your nepotism is showing. Naruto this coming from the man who has like 10 or 11 hard-ons for the Sharingan. Anzo glanced at Naruto decades of being a politician made him have a face of iron, but inside he was growing concerned. Anzo did that old fart of my teammates told him about the eyes. No Hiruzen didn't know or did he was he just acting dumb, but why would he do that this brat is trying to trick me, there's no way he knows what I keep under wraps. Anzo looked at the daimyo activating all of his Sharingan. Anzo then daimyo I ask you overrule the Hokage's decision Naruto is our weapon we cannot treat him as. Brand denied Naruto is a clan head by orders of your Hokage and your daimyo my word is final on this decision. Anzo froze completely taken aback that the Sharingan didn't work, but he's a seasoned veteran, so he didn't show any emotions in his face while on the inside, he was questioning why the Sharingan failed him. Anzo I, see dot dot very, well then I withdraw my statement. Naruto splendid now that that's out of the way how about we go back to the point of this meeting I demand dot my dot clans dot possessions. Hiashi. I Hiashi Haika clan head of the Hyuga clan second Uzumaki's demands. They were murmurs around both councils, since the Hyuga clan is currently the most powerful in Konoha, many of the smaller clan joined in on the demands, but there were still some who oppose it like the Inuzuka clan or the Aburam. Tsunade with a majority vote the possession of the Uzumaki will return to its rightful owner Naruto Uzumaki, I'll give everyone a week before I sent my Anbu to search your clans, if they find anything you will be put to death for going against the Hokage's word am I clear. Shinobi Council Hi Hokage-sama. Brand splendid now it's time for me to speak for the reason I'm here, and can I just say I am glad the civilian council is here. Babuki why dot dot why thank you sir it's an honor to be in your presence, and I'm sure what you have to say will agree to it. Reno this is gonna be fun don't you agree nephew? Babuki nephew. Naruto oh absolutely uncle Ren. Naruto had to bite his tongue to not laugh as all the color left Mabuki's face. Babuki you dot uncle. Ren. Why yes Naruto is son of my wife's sister I believe you know her what was her name, it's in the tip of my tongue, what was it what was it, nephew could you help me out? Naruto certainly my mother's name was Kashina Uzumaki wife of Minato Namikaze. Baka the fourth Hokage. Silence you could hear a pin drop before it just became a shouting match of insults towards Naruto from the civilian council, while the shinobi council were in shocks and felt a huge amount of guilt for what their clansmen have done to their friend's only son well minus Hiashi, never was too close with the fourth ironic his was the only clan that didn't harm Naruto and just ignored him. The sound of Tsunade gabble silenced the room. Tsunade. Enough as much as you all may want to deny it, it's the truth Naruto is the son of the fourth Hokage and Kishina Uzumaki. Brandon if I may. Everyone looked at Ren and saw how angry he suddenly became. Ren how dare you all hurt my nephew and stunt his growth I should have you all hanged. Babuki s. Sir my lord please see into reason. If any of us would have known that the demon I. I mean Naruto, if we would have never touched a hair in his head, please believe us. Ren you think that excuses you to hunt down my nephew like a dog, you think that excuses you to abuse my nephew you think that excuses you to try and murder my nephew the only legacy of the fourth Hokage and my sister-in-law Anbu. The fear in the civilian council could be seen by everyone as the Anbu guards appeared. Ren take the civilian council away to the jail cell until further notice if any complaint kill them without a second thought. Babuki but lord. Ren I've spoken talk again and your head will roll. Multiple Anbus came and took the civilian council away the last thing any of them saw was Naruto's smug smile. You would think that after the daimyo took the civilian council to jail things would calm down. Wishful thinking. Once the shinobi council heard of Naruto's parents every council member with the exclusion of Hiashi and Danzo for two very different reasons, kept quiet for Hiashi to keep the respect he's shown to Naruto and keep a future alliance with him for Danzo, he was still trapped in his own mind on why the Sharingan failed him. The rest were screaming about marriage from one of the females of their clan or making Naruto enter the crop program, something that pissed Tsunade and Shizune to no end, Naruto had enough and released a large amount of killer instinct, it shut them up and they all look at him. Naruto man this is very amusing a few moments ago you all were about to hit me with the air endangerment law and now that you know my bloodline you wish for me to bed your female shinobis. What happened to the times where you told your shinobis to stay clear away from me the demon? You think I would forget that? You think that would make me want to bed anyone other than the woman I love that standing next to Tsunade? Don't any of you have any balls? The Ashi I believe I do. 
a snort of amusement escaped Naruto's lips as the council was even more in shock, having the stoic Hiyashi actually make a joke, Shikaku was the first to wake up. Shikaku this is too much for one day Naruto. Naruto oh I'm sorry I forgot the part where we became friends. Naruto gave Shikaku an angry glare with his arm crossed. Naruto it's Uzumaki and don't you dare call me otherwise. Shikaku. Fine Mr. Uzumaki you must understand yo have two important blood inside you to only have one woman. Naruto yes I agree my mother's blood is amazing being a Uzumaki, but I will remain faithful as for my father, not really the man was a commoner like me, and Lee our blood had nothing to do we reached this level by training, determination and the power of youth. Everyone could hear two voices in the distance screaming Yas giving Naruto a small frown. Naruto note to self talk to fake Lee before he leaves on another mission. Mza we cannot let your blood go to waste Mr. Uzumaki. Naruto that's funny coming from the man who banned me from all your restaurants for being a demon. Mza flinched and glanced at the daimyo who did not look pleased, fearing the same treatment the civilians got Mza remained silent. Ren Naruto are you sure you don't want to come with me to the capital? You would be treated like royalty. Naruto positive uncle I have people here I need to protect, besides I'm not letting this council get rid of me that easy. Ren fine but I'll help you in that Tsunade. Tsunade yes Ren. Ren by order of the daimyo Naruto Uzumaki identity will be revealed by the end of this week. Tsunade consider it done now anyone has any more to say. Everyone was quiet until Donzo raised his hand making Tsunade sigh. Tsunade yes Donzo. Donzo I asked to make Naruto Uzumaki at least Chunin. Everyone looked at him curious. Naruto should I even forgot I'm still a Genin. Donzo if Mr. Uzumaki is gonna be a clan head he can't be a Genin it will bring shame to the council. They were murmurs around, but everyone eventually agreed. Donzo now on to the matters of entering the crop program. Ren I'll squash that fear to rest. The shinobi council sighed since obviously the daimyo could see the benefits of multiple. Ren I hereby ban Naruto Uzumaki from ever joining the crop program unless I say otherwise and I assure you I won't say otherwise I wish for my nephew to marry whoever he wants and love who he wants to love. Naruto and that person is Shizune. Both looked at each other smiling lovingly while the remaining council just sighed in defeat and in fear remembering all the times their clan has mistreated Naruto, they could hear the ghost of Kashina cracking her knuckles in anticipation for when they come over there. Naruto but if you're all worried about the legacy of the fourth I have an idea now if you want future generations to be as powerful as the fourth release is justice to the public since apart from that Minato didn't do anything all that great I mean apart from his jutsu, can any of you tell me something he did that someone here didn't? And please don't say the war since Tsunade and Donzo both fought in wars and one Tsunade is a son in for a reason. Before they could argue Naruto got up. Naruto Tsunade is there anything else you need me for? Tsunade no Naruto you can go can I ask where you're going? Naruto I have an auntie to meet. Naruto body flickers away and appears in front of his auntie Akira's room took a deep breath and gave a shaky knock on the door he waited for a minute until Akira opened the door. Akira oh Naruto can dot dot can I help you with something? Naruto ya yeah, I, I heard you could tell me about my mother, dot auntie. Akira froze as Naruto gave her a wobbly smile, as tears started falling from both of them they hugged each other Akira sniffling, while Naruto had his eyes shut. Akira welcome home Naruto dot dot I have so much to tell you. Naruto gave a wet chuckle as they walked inside. The next day. We see the Uzumaki family next to Tsunade Shizune and the village's highest elders Tsunade and Akira were busy fussing over Naruto and Hajita Kimono's Naruto and Hajita Mom Bachan it's fine. Tsunade Hashi brat this is a big day for you the village is about to know your birthright Naruto ha I wonder if they'll believe you or if they'll be in such denial that they'll revolt Tsunade oh don't be so dramatic at most they'll just act extremely nice to you to try and make up for all the injustice they've done do you Naruto ha I like to see that hey auntie after this want to. Bodoraman. Ren flinched and ran to the wall hugging it scared for his life Akira Ra. Vegeta man. Ren oh dear Kami help me. Akira there's a ramen shop here. Naruto yeah the best in all the elemental nations. They're kinda like family they've always been so kind to me and was the only place that actually fed me. Ren really? And dot dot you say their food is good. Naruto, it's the best dot abayo. Akira flinched and had a sad smile on her lips, looking at Naruto Akira saw young Kashina smiling brightly at her. Little Kashina come on Akira let's get some ramen. Abayo. Naruto hey auntie you okay? Akira was taken out of her memory and she felt something wet on her cheek, she cleaned the tear and smiled Akira you dot dot yes yes, I'm fine nephew just, remembering something, and we are absolutely going to this ramen shop. But first let's fix that ungodly hair, Akira started pulling Naruto's hair with a brush making groan and complain, but Akira ignored him after 15 minutes Naruto had a nice bowl cut hairstyle Akira there, what a handsome. 
The hair bounced back to normal Akira young man. Naruto looked himself in the mirror and smiled Naruto I don't look half bad Auntie Akira rolled her eyes as Hajita just giggled Sanade alright, let's get this over so I can have some sake they all nod and went out seeing the crowd of every member of Konoha civilian and shinobi alike under them, Sanade and Ren stood in front of them, Naruto could feel the civilian's eyes on him and he couldn't help but for a smile to escape his lips Tsunade people of Konoha hear me I as Hokage will reveal a rank S secret to all of you and the shinobi world, the son of the fourth Hokage lives and has been kept hidden from all, due to a law of the fourth and third Hokage, had made to keep him protected the crowd murmured, then started cheering that their beloved Hokage lived on. Through his son Naruto bastards all of them. Naruto muttered bitterly but calmed down as he felt Shizune hand hold as he looked at her she was smiling at him, Naruto smiled softly at her and gave her a quick peck on the lips as he looked at his uncle that called him over and he walked next to him and Tsunade ran ladies and gentlemen of Konoha I present to you not only the son of the fourth but my nephew Naruto Uzumaki. Asked could be heard but after the few gasps it was all silence no one could believe the same demon they would abuse was the son of the fourth Tsunade Naruto, would you like to say a few words? Naruto yes, Bachan. Naruto walked up to the podium and looked at the village Naruto I will never forgive my father for hiding my heritage, just like I will never forgive him for putting the Nine Tails fox inside me or keeping everything a secret, I am not the Nine Tails reincarnated I'm its jailer, but did any of you even consider that? No you were all so blinded by hate that you failed to see me for who I am my father wanted me to be treated as a hero, and you all disgrace his dying wish my words do you all is this, don't even try to start getting friendly with me, I know who are my true friends, and who are fake I know who loves me, and who doesn't Naruto took a step back to Shizune who holds his hand as Tsunade got back to. The podium Tsunade starting today new laws will be implemented and old ones will be erased, no longer will you be allowed to harm or destroy Naruto or his property, anyone who does Naruto has full authority to deal with them, as he see fit even death second Naruto is now a clan head and will be giving the same rights as clan heads and finally all of Naruto's parents possessions and property will be giving back to him Naruto correction Tsunade only my mother's will be returned to me my father. The fourth caused me all this pain you can give his stuff away for all I care burn it, sell it, donate it, I couldn't care less if I tried the money give it to orphanages outside of Konoha the jutsu give it to the shinobi schools and his possession. Fuck I don't know burn it for all I care Tsunade nodded and Naruto kneeled down Naruto does and he feels a shadow looks up and saw Tsunade's slug Kitsuyu. Kitsuyu hello lady Tsunade is it time? Tsunade yes Kitsuyu Naruto Uzumaki you have asked to become the next slug summoner and I cannot think of anyone else more worthy from this day forth while others may be able to use the slugs you my dear boy will be my successor Kanoha's next slug summoner, do you accept such a position? Naruto yes Hokage-sama I'm deeply touched and honored Tsunade gave Naruto the contract Naruto bit his finger and signed his name at the top right under Tsunade, well a few clapped for it like Shizune others like Sakura, felt utterly betrayed by her sensei, this will not go with it the fight. Naruto. Come on come on it's right around the corner. Naruto said exited to be honest, he wasn't the only one exited as Akira and their daughter were dragging Ren right behind Naruto Naruto. Ah there it is the gates of heaven. Akira, Hijita and Naruto started to salivate at the mouth looking at it, while Ren gave a small prayer for his soon to be empty wallet Hijita what are we just standing here for let's get some ramen. Akira that's my little girl. All three of them power walked and walked inside with Naruto in front Naruto hey guys I brought company. A.M. Hey Naruto who you, you, you. A.M. eyes widen as her daimyo someone she thought she would only see in pictures walked inside her family's shop. A.M. L. Lord Damon. A.M. dropped the plates breaking Tucci came out of the back. Tucci A.M. what was that? Tucci saw who was in his shop and he dropped the flower he had on his shoulder Tucci L. Lord Damon. Both Ichiraku bowed in front of Ren and his family, Ren had a small but nauticable smug smile Ren not gonna lie I love, when they do this Akira I don't please, both of you stand up in our eyes, you are equal to us both got up confused, while well, Naruto made a shadow clone to help clean up the mess, already knowing where the cleaning supplies are Tuchi e. equal my lords. Ren very much so Naruto has spoken very highly of not only your food, but yourself as well, the Ichiraku family looked at Naruto for an answer Naruto as you know the Akamichi clan owns pretty much every food business in Konoha, except for your ramen stand, and they banned me from ever entering their establishments, but you guys never did you always fed me with a smile on your faces hell even. Fed me when all I had was like two or three ryos to my name you still fed me Ren that speaks volumes of your character and the type of businessman you are for helping my nephew, we owe you our deepest gratitude, the daimyo and his family bowed to the Ichiraku family who both felt deeply honored Akira enough of this mushy stuff let's eat. Naruto has told me your ramen is the best in all the elemental nations, I want to see if that true. Gucci of course Lady Uzumaki. Am let's show them what actually good ramen tastes like. Am on it dad. 
The cure we are not stopping until you're completely out of ingredients to make ramen. Gucci starts elevating at the money they will make today Tuchi God bless the Uzumaki clan. Uzumaki's here here. They started cooking meanwhile Akira noticed Naruto was deep in thought Akira Ryo for your thought Naruto. Naruto. It's just look at us look at our clan we're almost extinct, Haika, Kaguya, Senju, Uzumaki, and Ichiha all clans that are related, but look at us now the Hyuga the only one that remains and will remain for decades to come, the Senju Tsunade the last one. The Kaguya I've never heard of except for this one kid Lee fought, so I can only guess their clan disappeared to the sands of time, the Ichiha Sasuke and Itachi are the last two, and one is on a mission to kill the other, and us after you two Hajim and me will be the only Uzumaki left our children, will they be able to keep our bloodline alive? Or will it succumb to the same fate that all the other clans except for the Hyugas has faced how much more until the Uzumaki clan is nothing more than a distant memory? The legend that few will even believe we exited, Naruto said looking up at the roof this pressure of being the last Uzumaki been getting to him lately, knowing he had a cousin, did help lighten the load somewhat, but that's still only two that need to somehow grow the Uzumaki clan back from the dead Akira. I've had the same thoughts you did Naruto I did for many years, well my sister wasn't there I for a fact was I was there when out people got killed I saw it all, and for some reason I was left alive for what I do not know, but maybe it was to give you this, Akira took a scroll she kept hiding in the sleeves of her kimono and gave it to Naruto. Who took it and read it Naruto blood transformation. Akira yes my grandfather made the jutsu in the event something should happen to our clan, he was dot dot wise beyond his years something told me he saw the writing in the wall but he could never finish it, maybe you could finish your great-grandfather last jutsu once completed he said the user could change the victim's blood for example, if you use this jutsu let's say on this am girl if you use it on her, her hair will turn red she will have huge chakra reserve and will become an Uzumaki in every way, including blood Naruto eyes widen as he looked at the scroll, the implications of what he could do with this jutsu alone were beyond what he could imagine Naruto then I have to finish it no. It's my duty to finish this as the last shinobi Uzumaki I swear on the Uzumaki that came before me that our clan will not die they will rise again, the Uzumaki clan will be fear again, I give them my nindo my ninja way that the world hasn't seen the last of the Uzumaki clan. I am Naruto get down. I just cleaned that. Naruto looked down and saw he climbed up the table he blushed and got down apologizing profusely I am side and served the ramen to the family Akira. Alright you little brat let's see if you have your mother's stomach, only she could ever beat me in eating ramen Naruto oh you are on. Vegeta don't count me out just yet I will beat you this time mom. Naruto, Akira and Hajita. We'll see about that Adabayo. They started scarfing down while Ren just ate at a normal pace. Gucci 90405, 90406, 90407. We see Tuchi counting the humongous stack of money the Uzumaki family gave him, since what Akira said hold it true they ate him dry, he has no more ingredients just money, and a huge smile, since he's only halfway through his counting Ren oh my wallet, I think you murdered it, honey Akira fuck your Ren. Akira set her head on the table her Naruto and Hijita looked sick their stomachs looked twice as big, and somehow somewhere Ren was the one who won the eating contest, Hijita oh god, who knew second place could hurt so bad Naruto I can't believe I made it to third place oh my belly. Akira yup you are Kashina's son all right only an Uzumaki can reach 100, and only Kashina could go 200, you surpassed her at 205, and somehow my beloved husband made it to 300, and doesn't look any different Ren good genes I guess. Akira you guess my ass. Ren oh honey not in front of the children I'll guess it when we're alone, Ren said with a smug smile as Naruto and Hijita looked even more sick Naruto well this is as good a time as any summoning Jutsu. A small buff of smoke appeared on the table, and a slug appeared. Slug hello little prince how can I be of assistance today Naruto I need you to, wait, did you just call me little prince? Slug yes since your lady Tsunade successor you'll be known as little prince until Tsunade can no longer hold the position Naruto ah. Naruto said with a slight frown at the statement Naruto botch and no longer able to hold the position. Vegeta I'm curious what did Tsunade mean by that that others may use the slugs, but Naruto will be the next summoner if others can use slugs, doesn't that mean that they'll be the next summoner? Slug what Lady Tsunade meant was that while others may sign the contract, Little Prince will be the one who holds the contract, he'll be the one who decides who's worthy of the slug contract they are other things of course, but that is the main one Naruto. Thank you for the clarification now on to why I called you can you heal us of our stomach pain. Slug it would be my pleasure Little Prince the slug jumped to Naruto it started to glow, and Naruto's stomach went back to normal, and his pain was gone inside Naruto's body. We see Kurama almost drowning in a sea of ramen his snout at the top of his cage, and even then ramen water would hit his nose, making for a painful breathing experience, when suddenly the ramen disappeared Kurama I don't know what happened, but in thankful it happened. Back outside. 
The slug healed everyone else and hopped back to the table slug anything else little prince. Naruto yes actually can you give me your name? Slug I don't have one little prince no slug has Naruto but what about Kitsuyu? Slug that isn't a name per se more of a title it symbolizes the strongest slug the current Kitsuyu the one with Lady Tsunade has been the strongest for many centuries and one day she'll be your personal slug until then the rest of the slug kingdom is at your service, Naruto smiled and pets the slug with one finger Naruto I thank you for your kindness and may I say your blue color is. Very beautiful slug thank you little prince until he next meet the slug puffed away and Ren got up. Ren. Mr. Ichiraku if why may have a word. Gucci yes my lord Damon how can I help you. Ren I must say your ramen was delectable the best I've had in a long time tell me so you have other shops or is this it? Gucci this is the only shop the Akamichi clan owns all the other eating establishment in Kanoha Ren then I would like to help with it, not only will I invest to make this ramen stand into an actually restaurant, but I want you to come to the capital with me for a short time for a business meeting, I want your ramen to be tasted all over the Fire Nation, the Ichiraku family didn't know what to. Say they were completely overwhelmed Tucci bowed deeply Tucci I dot I dot I don't know what to say sir I'm completely honored by this tea thank you. Naruto while uncle and Tucci talk about that want to come with me and see my new home. Akira oh I would love to Naruto. Vegeta hell yeah better go and check my new room since I'm gonna visit a lot Akira same here. Naruto smiled and got up stretching. Naruto I wouldn't have it any other way let's go the blooded Uzumaki walked away on their way there Naruto could feel everyone looking at him, muttering only this time they were spitting lies that they never hurt the fourth son it was so, and so Naruto already blaming someone else when you would try and hurt me with a pitchfork. Naruto said glancing at one of the civilian who flinched and full body bowed begging for forgiveness, Naruto rolled his eyes and kept walking with his family, girls started squealing calling for him, as more older people started smiling at him and waving, but Naruto ignored them all Naruto in one ear, and out the other they think I'm gonna forget all the pain they causes me. Neji, Naruto. Neji turned around and saw Neji and Tenten he smiled at them Naruto hey guys by Tenten's shocked face, I'm guessing you heard the announcement, Tenten shook her head and smiled shyly at Naruto, rubbing the back of her head, Tenten sorry it's just, Lady Kashina was such an icon, I wanted to be just like her, and you are her son. Naruto indeed I am. Vegeta. Was blushing looking at Neji. Vegeta he's so hot. Neji it was an unexpected event that's for sure where are you and the other two Uzumaki going. Naruto I wanted to see my new house care to join me. Vegeta yes he would love to. Vegeta said immediately hugging Neji's arm instantly Tenten got jealous and Neji, he was too confused to notice it, Neji let us go then. Tenten yes. Tenten hugged Neji's other arm, both girls glaring taggers at the other as they walked and made it to the location the place of Kashina's old house Naruto hey Kasan. Naruto said softly as he looked at the main house. Naruto I'm home. The Uzumaki family, Tenten and Neji walked inside the second they entered they were hit by a mountain of dust everyone coughed as Naruto walked inside and opened the windows, Naruto Kami this place is filthy. Tenten well no one been here since your mother passed, so it's to be expected Naruto true shadow clone Jutsu. Multiple shadow clones appeared Tenten eyes widened as Naruto did the Jutsu without any hand sings Naruto alright guys clean up while we look around clones right. The Naruto clone started cleaning as the real Naruto turned around and looked at his family and friends Naruto alright let's split up and look around, if you find anything bring it back for me to see Tenten wait Naruto, how did you do that the clone thing? Naruto. Training. You don't really need the hand sings to do a jutsu it makes it easier like a lot easier, but doing it with just your mind is a lot faster anyway, let's explore Hajita. Let's team up I choose Neji. Hajita hugged his arm while Akira chuckled Akira ah young love could he be my son-in-law. Tenten like hell. Tenten hugged the other arm glaring at Hajita, while Akira and Naruto laughed Naruto well auntie you're with me, let's leave Neji to his love triangle Naruto, and Akira started walking away with Neji, finally figuring out blushing Neji w dot wait love triangle. With Tsunade. Tsunade sighed having another drink of sake all day, while the Uzumaki was having a ramen eating contest, the last senju has been busy with the civilian complaints and marriage contracts, Shizune auntie we have one more visit, then the Hokage tower is closed to the public for the day, and you can go home Tsunade oh thank Kami. Shizune after you finished at least one mountain of paperwork Tsunade oh fuck you. Shizune sorry auntie, but I'm waiting for Naruto to get a bit older before that Tsunade never thought I say this, but don't talk about your love life Shizune deal now shall I send the person in. Tsunade yeah, yeah. Shizune went and grabbed the visitor once inside Tsunade sighed loudly. Tsunade what do you want Sakura? Sakura I want to know why is Naruto your successor when I was your student. I've trained for longer. 
Tsunade and yet Naruto only trained alone for one year, and he's stronger than you right now he's arguably the strongest all around of your generation Shizune I mean he can't beat me in taijutsu. Tsunade true in on specific area he wouldn't be able to beat someone who's trained all his life in that area like Guy and Lee, but if Naruto uses every area taijutsu, ninjutsu his sword everything he's a force to be reckoned with Shizune true true. Sakura hey I'm talking here. Tsunade and I've responded Naruto is stronger, smarter, faster, more mature than you and your mother put together and. Tsunade stopped as she felt something a chakra she hasn't felt in decades, she slammed her hands on the table and got up Tsunade Shizune we're going to Naruto's new house now. Shizune was taken aback but nodded nonetheless and they left leaving Sakura there back with Naruto a few minutes before. They finished looking around and returned to the main hall they found multiple things and they've only scratched the surface a lot of things were sealed up with seals only Naruto could unlock, so he's gonna spend a lot of time unlocking them Naruto and Akira saw Tenten hugging something. Naruto what do you got there Tenten? Tenten I found this blade, but I can't unseal it from Itsaya the hilt is just beautiful, Akira gasped looking at it, Naruto looked at his auntie Naruto do, you know this blade auntie. Akira yes, yes it was my father's blade he gave it to Kashina as a goodbye gift when she moved to Kanoha Naruto eyes widen as he softly took the blade Naruto bit his finger making it bleed and let a drop of blood fall on his sword, unlocking it, Naruto mother must have sealed basically the really important things for me since I found quite a few things glad the other clans didn't steal. Everything Tenten yeah yeah open it. I want to see the legendary blade first hand. Naruto nods and holds the handle taking it out, he let the saya fall on the ground as the blade shines, thanks to the light of the sunset coming from the window. Tenten was geeking out looking at every single detail of the sword she took it from Naruto's hand and got an even better look weighing it, everything Tenten such an amazing blade I could look at it forever. Naruto that's nice and all Tenten, but can I have the blade back it is mine Tenten whined a bit and reluctantly gave it back so Naruto could get a good look at it, Naruto it's a chakra blade but something's wrong Neji, what do you mean? Naruto. There's still chakra inside it a lot of chakra inside it and it's locked Akira can you unlock it. Naruto does and drips another drop of blood on the lock, unlocking it the sword started to shine, almost blinding everyone Naruto let the sword go as it almost burned him when the light was gone and their eyes stopped hurting, they saw clearing something impossible someone that shouldn't be here, Naruto eyes widened as tears instantly started to fall, but he wasn't the only one crying in front of. Them was the previous owner of the sword. Naruto ka dot dot kasen. Akira's dot sister. Kashina. Naruto. Kashina walked to him and hugged him, Naruto couldn't help it as more tears began to fell, he hugged his mother tightly, well Kashina pets his back Kashina shhh I'm here, mommy's here my sweet little boy we have a lot to catch up on. Last time. Naruto. There's still chakra inside it a lot of chakra inside it and it's locked. Akira can you unlock it? Naruto does and drips another drop of blood on the lock, unlocking it the sword started to shine, almost blinding everyone Naruto let the sword go as it almost burned him when the light was gone and their eyes stopped hurting, they saw clearing something impossible someone that shouldn't be here, Naruto eyes widen as tears instantly started to fall, but he wasn't the only one crying in front of. Them was the previous owner of the sword. Naruto ka dot dot kasen. Akira s dot sister. Kashina. Naruto. Kashina walked to him and hugged him, Naruto couldn't help it as more tears began to fell, he hugged his mother tightly, well Kashina pets his back. Kashina shhh I'm here mommy's here my sweet little boy we have a lot to catch up on. Now. We see Kashina, Naruto Tsunade Shizune Akira and Hijita sitting in a table all eyes on Kashina, much to her disappointment Neji dragged Tenten out of Naruto's house to be polite. Tsunade how, how are you even here? I saw you die when Minato put the Kyubi inside Naruto. Kashina and I did die, but I put some of my chakra inside my sword in the event something tragic would happen to me, I used a seal to lock part of my soul and chakra inside my sword, and Naruto would be the only who could free me, although he's a lot older than I thought he'd be when Hirazan would give him my sword. The mood got tense as Kashina looked around confused. Kashina. What's with the mood change everyone? Naruto mo dot dot mother. That word still sounded so foreign to Naruto, but it gave a warm feeling inside his stomach. Naruto Jiji didn't give me your sword he didn't give me anything of you or of Minato. Kashina was taken aback and looked at Tsunade for an explanation making her sigh and taking a sip of her tea as much as she wanted it to be sake now so wasn't the moment. Tsunade Minato and Hiruzen screwed Naruto over too but it bluntly Minato kept his heritage secret from the world so Naruto didn't knew he had family until only recently and I mean recent recent only like what a couple of weeks. Naruto if that. Naruto said bitterly Kashina looked at Naruto with worry in her heart. 
Tsunade is for Harazin he didn't really do much to help he protected Naruto from the villagers to a point and gave him a crappy apartment at the bad part of the village, right at the entrance of the red light district. And gave him a small allowance not from the Uzumaki bank account, but just the regular allowance any orphan gets. Ashina had to suck breath she remember Minato talking about that and how little that would be, even if Naruto didn't parent, that didn't leave enough for the good a growing child would need not to mention other things like clothes and shinobi tools. Naruto as much as I have a soft spot for the old man doesn't mean I can forgive the injustices he didn't help with for example being kicked out of the orphanage. Ashina W. Wait wait orphanage. No Minato told me he got Jiraiya to be your godfather and that he promised that he would take care of you. Tsunade. Thanks for thinking of me when you were picking off potential godparents. Ashina flinched as Naruto sighed and looked at the ceiling he felt Shizune hand on his and to calm him down. Naruto Jiraiya didn't do that he spent all his time being a pervert, using the excuse that his spy network needed him instead of passing to Torch to take care of me, he passed me to Hiruzen who. To be fair I can't really blame for sending me in an orphanage he was already old when I was born and now had to be the Hokage again, since my oh so loving father decided to use a forbidden sealing justsu instead of letting someone like Hiruzen or Donzo use the justsu hell even Bachan would have done it. Naruto slammed his fist to the table, thinking of the other options Minato could have used. Tsunade. Very true even I would have used that Jutsu Konoha needed Minato Naruto needed Minato or you, but you died, even if as a Uzumaki, you would have lasted maybe a few years, without the fox demon inside you Naruto needed more than that, and Minato could have provided that if he would have just handed the responsibility to someone, anyone else Naruto wouldn't have suffered so much. Ashina this, this is a lot to take in. Naruto looked at his mother with worry. Naruto we dot dot can continue this later if you like mother. Ashina no, no I need to know everything. Akira like always pushing yourself too hard I'll get some calming tea before you pop a blood vessel I've already heard of my nephew passed and I would rather not hear the story a second time. Akira got up and walked to find the kitchen. Tsunade should anyone tell her the water won't be running again for a few days. All eyes landed and Hajita who sighed and went to look for her mother Kashina giggled at that. Tsunade. Let's skip ahead what do you remember Minato saying about the clans and civilian council. Kashina A. Eh? They were our friends I know they must have helped in some way. Naruto I'll take it from here. Kashina they did what? Kashina's used her chakra chains to grab her sword and bring it to her, as she broke the door with one slice the red hot blooded habanero was alive, and now she was out for blood. Shizune. Shouldn't anyone stop her? Naruto for what? What will they do? She's already dead not like they can subject her to any crimes. Tsunade even if they tried Ren and me can just shut them up this has been a long time coming now. Tsunade took out the Hokage sphere that allowed her to watch the ins and out of Konoha watch as Kashina tears her old friends a new one. Tsunade who has popcorn. Better yet who wants to bet who she'll go for first. My bet is on the Inuzuka clan. Naruto mine is she'll go for the Akamichi clan I win you got to give me one of your technique. Tsunade alright I win you have to be my secretary for a month. Naruto bet. They watch in anticipation as her first victim is.